Mm-hmm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm ABM. I'm Laura Mora. Oh, shit. That's like roll call in prison. <laughs> well, where's yours? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm Malcolm. What's that name? Malcolm Mays, you gotta say your full name. You can't just say Malcolm. Yo, why does it feel like class, bro? What's happening? She just pressed me. <laughs> yeah, say All right, what do I look at? Who do I say it to? Just, just say it. You know, just say it. Oh, Malcolm Mays. Nice to meet y'all. Appreciate y'all for having me. Thank you for coming. We are so excited to have you because you know Raising Canaan is my show. Oh, like. There's not a lot of shows that I watch every single week, but on Sundays, I watch it early, like on demand yeah, all really? the time. Yes. Like 12 o'clock in the like morning. Like in the morning. As soon as it comes out. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because That's first right. of all, I'll be sleeping at night, but also because I'm like, all right. Right. You know, this is my show. All right. And yeah. I know you're filming, so I know you make it through the season. So yeah. oh, wait, wait, hold up. You're not supposed to tell people that? Well, I already read it and then you know, people know that. <laughs> All right. right. That I'm alive, least... y'all. It's okay. Yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> Next season they might get rid of me though. So you, uh, know, you never you don't even know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really be caring either. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> because I feel like, no disrespect, I feel like they've already given me so much. Yeah. My life already been blessed, my family already been changed financially, so you, y'all can chip me if you want to. I'll go get another job. I, I appreciated it. It was great. But you've been working all this time. I mean, you've been on Snowfall. You've been in, like, you've done a lot. You've written. Yeah. I know New Jack City. We talked about that previously. Yeah. The sequel. So I feel like, is this your biggest payday so far? Uh Oh, that's a, that's a, wait, I'm supposed to, wait. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> no, because when you said they've given uh, you a lot, I'm like. They've given me a lot because you know what? Some things are more than money. Mm-hmm. You know, like something walking through our community. I got my boy mm-hmm. Slumlord with me. So shout out to the section. Shout out to the jungles. <laughs> you know, that's home. Yeah. You know, being able to walk through my, my neighborhood and, and have people, you know, really invested, like really know who I am in my section, in my city. It's nothing like having a billboard over the 405. Right. When you came from L.A. When you really from L.A. Lulu. Yeah. It was, it was like my face was over the 405. Like mm-hmm. that's different. You can't wow. beat that. Like Hollywood everywhere. And like I'm really I went to like seven different high schools. I was like the kid that went all over the city was really from the hood so when I when that happens everybody's like calling my mama everybody's like oh what's gonna happen my daddy he walking around with his chest out now you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> you know he that's feel dope. like yeah. Yeah, that is really like I always say like, for me pride. the most exciting thing is like for my parents to be excited mm-hmm. for yeah, sure oh God, you know? cause I've been successful like I've made money mm-hmm. you know and where I'm from like not a lot of people make it from our particular section of Los Angeles so I've already been in my hood like I got love it's stone love so I'd never really it's 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 the larger cosmopolitan success that's like different. Yeah, and you bold as hell too, cause like <laughs> even just your story from you just approaching people and oh, yeah. you know, cause I think sometimes people would be intimidated you know, to do the things that you've done. You like mean? to approach like a John Singleton or to be like, I'm going to write and produce and direct this oh, at yeah. a, as a teenager. Well, and he he kind of banged on me, actually. That's not that's not fair. Like, he was the one who was bold. I was mm-hmm. chilling. I was working at Sony under the head of physical production and he had a relationship with him and nigga didn't want to meet me. He didn't want to fuck with me. Like, nah, nah. And because and, you know how like when white people make comps of people of color, you know, people of color all be like, we're not all the same. We're not mm-hmm. a monolith. Mm-hmm. So John was a big proponent of that. So he'd be like, stop telling people that this kid is me. Like, that's not that's not mm-hmm. at first. I thought he was being disrespectful. But what he was really trying to do when I met him, he said, don't say you're going to be me. Don't let nobody else say you're going to be me be because be you. you. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was like his sensei Yoda way of like educating me even before I met him. So when I finally met him because I had done something of, 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 of merit. Then he embraced me like I was his child. Right. And that was when it was like, but he pressed me. He like ran up on me like, so who who, who the fuck you think you are? Who's this? Like, what's up? <laughs> That's like, yeah, so he's a good dude. Rest in peace. Miss him. All right. And I do like um, to talk about your backstory, too, mm-hmm. just because your uncle is, you know, Stanley yeah. Tukey, yeah. uh, one of the founders of the Crips. Yeah, him and Raymond Washington. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and that's your, that's your mother's brother. Yeah, my grandmother's son. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then you grew up in a blood neighborhood. I did. My godfather was T. Rogers. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and Lucky. Rest in peace. Lucky Lays. Baby Lays. And it was it's tough because. Uh, yeah, I just had a lot of grace. Like a lot of people show me love. Like I don't have that story. I'd be one of, you know how like rappers be like, I ain't have nothing in the fridge. Nobody fuck with me. My <laughs> teachers don't say I wasn't gonna be shit. My you shit don't was the opposite. Story. Like good. even if I didn't have nothing in the fridge, my community made sure I ate. Yeah. You know, that my, my big homies, they was gangster, but they was like, you caught fades and got DP'd and violated for not going to school. Like it was different. Right. My right. Whole it was shit looking was out different. for you. Yeah, it was it different. It was a village that raised you. It now because the, this is the village. It's called yeah. Baldwin Village. Oh, wow. Because this yeah. is lip service. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Now, it's, what are the rules when it comes to like if you're a crip, but uh-huh. a girl is a blood? Oh, you gonna get set up, knocked down, my nigga? Mm. Really? Yeah, that's how niggas dog. Yeah, it's not like a set. I mean, we do. Wait, Slum, what? What you think? What do you think? 
what about four sinners? Yeah. Because like it's like Romeo and Juliet, like the Montagues and the Capulets. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not that simple though. Because like, <laughs> we have, you know, Damu, we got B Dogs fighting B Dogs, we got Rips fighting Crips. Like, what people don't understand, especially in gangbanging, which I hate to like make this the centrifugal force of this conversation, but Crips fought Crips first. The first gang like war was between two crip sex. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. It wasn't bloods first. Right. Matter of fact, like bloods weren't even bloods yet. They was just like a section, like parus, like they was just different. Mm -hmm. So it was just the niggas who didn't want to join and right. they got into it first. So it's always been infighting, like any government body that's being formed early, like everybody be fighting. So at some point it becomes territory. And if a girl from a certain territory, like, man, we were start live on that, on that 212, that 210 bus trying to get to some pussy we ain't had no business. <laughs> for right. sure. For sure. But it builds character. Because <laughs> like, like, you know? it make you think twice. Like, I don't know if I should go talk to her because. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's I mean, over there. If you a ye, yeah. If you a ye, you ain't going. Like, if you, excuse me. Uh, where I'm from, ye means someone who doesn't have. To me, it's my last name. I was about right. to say that. I was oh, like, yeah. that oh, yeah. no, 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 no. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, <laughs> I gotta explain. Like I need, a, I need a whole book of like right. translation. Yeah. No, so so a ye is like basically a man of uh, who lacks character or resolve. Damn so like man. If, if you ain't Come got on no, now, yeah, if you don't. We write. gotta change Damn, that. Yeah. I gotta take that back. Uh, no, no, not for you. Like I gotta take that back. I gotta. <laughs> you're not ye. It's you different. Come on. You, you're, re, you're you know you're rebranding. But everybody else, if it's a man and you get called a ye, it's pretty disrespectful. So like it just means if you're not if you don't have no heart to go step out and do something like. You're not gonna go. Like, I just never really was scared to, like, if it meant my life. You know, when you're young, the vagina is everything. So, like, you're gonna risk your life <laughs> for that one time to go all the way to, like, wherever area. I feel like when we were all young, we risked our lives for the opposite set, like, for oh, whoever God. we were dating. Because yeah. I think about things that I did when I was young. What the fuck was I thinking? Right, right. Like, you'd be in neighborhoods. Does I anybody have wrong? Wrong? I was never from the hood, and I used to be all through all the hoods. Oh, you know that No, we all did. <laughs> oh, yeah. we, need, we need a story. I want yeah. yours, because you seem like you over here holding shit. I already know. Mm -hmm. You was terrible. She really wasn't. I, what? She what? You square? Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. You square? What's the real? Square? What's the square? A square? Yeah, you, well, I was about to say you again. That's not fair. <laughs> Just someone who doesn't I mean, participate. I was up and down Flatbush and stuff like that, but I wasn't like, you know, I was, I'm not going to lie. I was taken advantage of. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, as an adult, I know I was, but at oh, that at moment, time, I didn't, didn't think I was. Right. But like, I was just, I was up and down the streets. I just was the girl that like my friends would want to fight me because I didn't want to jump into fights. And I'm like, yo, I'm not <laughs> jumping her. Like what? she didn't do nothing. And then they'll fight me because so I didn't want to jump in. Yeah. That's fucked up. But I'm about with guys. Yeah. But with guys, like, nah, I was a tomboy. But those were the perfect ones. Those but you had a kid at 16. You did something. Well, see, so this is the thing. They, my mom tricked me and moved me from New York to Miami without telling me. Like, I just landed in oh, Miami. It was like, welcome home. I'm like, wait, what? And coming from New York, going to Miami, that's it's wild. a whole different lifestyle. That's, that's, sure. that's when I realized there's racism. I, that's when I realized there's black, white, Hispanic. You also learned about yeah. dick, clearly. And I pregnant. learned about dick because right. it's, ain't, it's nothing to do. Kids? I have a child. I have a 21 year old. Blood, you lying. Blood. <laughs> Sorry, yes. I'm up at. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ma'am, you are telling. Ma'am, you, you are telling. You are telling. Like, you are telling. like leaving from New York. Wait, like, so you press niggas lines when they come to the house. Excuse me? So he try to fight people when they try to get at you. You know what? It's now to the point where like he understands that I'm a young mom. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like at first, I, anybody put anything in, our, in my comments that's crazy, he's going like, he's yeah. going Wait, back on, and forth. Like I've had to. Let's look. <laughs> what's your, what's your yeah. You want to look right now? Miss Laura Mora. Mora. Senora, say that shit again. <laughs> that shit was hard. MS Laura. MS Laura. MS Laura. Right there with the two hearts. I'm just playing. She said, I'm. <laughs> you stupid. She popping. <laughs> But um, yeah, like oh, it was you. different. It was like I know, it was. It's I, know. I know that's me. It's different. It's like moving from New York, going to Miami, or going to the South. It's more like kids are doing things. He cooked. He ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> High school got to. William, gotta don't be listen tough. to him. <laughs> look, bro. Hey, look, bro. You, hey, hold your mama down. She putting you in positions, bro. This don't take every fade. It's not your. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You just gotta find ass mama, nigga. It just is what it is. This ain't Damn, right. Damn, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, puppy. She on the yacht and shit. Yo, you said you this outside. ain't right. 
She got artistic photos. Yeah. You see this one? Oh, yeah. She got artistic photos. Yeah, yeah, she, you <laughs> know, like, I'm, I'm going to show you these curves. She be it's on the gram, baby. Yeah, she also, yeah, worse. Horrible. My mom was like that. She was fired. He said horrible. Yeah. Oh, really? My mom so, was fine as hell. So, she how was. was it when guys, like, you know, if she was dating? Well, my mom, well, my mom, that's what that, I got. I got treated differently. My mama didn't bring no men in the house mm -hmm. ever. I don't even remember her, like, like my pops, and, like I told you on, on Breakfast Club, my mom and my dad still date. Right. So right. like there was a separation period and then they got back together. So like um, my mom was fine forever. She was 30 forever and she never <laughs> told me her age. So until I started handling business for the house, I didn't even know how old she was. Mm, so that's crazy. men was hollering at her in the car in the Ford Explorer. Like I'm like 10. And she, like, Did you ever want to fight them? Like, yo, leave my mom I alone. Shits, man. I, I remember I popped out. We was at uh, what county building. She was working at Goodwill. I must have went off on one of the, uh, the little workers. Like I went crazy, like nah. At Goodwill, you went crazy at Goodwill. You yeah, can't go crazy at Goodwill. Well, you going crazy. Like, like, mama, 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 mama. Is. like he, he gets yeah. like we'll go to the store and we'll get to the front. He's like ma, they're like. Ma, he's yeah. like, yeah, nigga, that's, that's my, my mom. mom. Yeah, I'm I like, like boy, I'm calm the So, what would your mom say though when you would get like? <laughs> my mother, at some point, it became like. At first, I was a good kid, so I was sweet. So it was different. Like I had a mouth on me, but I didn't have a hands yet. But then when I developed the hands at 13. It was over. She couldn't <laughs> not say nothing. Exactly. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Well, then I got beat up at first. That's how you learn how to fight. You get hit in the face. Who did you go to when it came to you learning about sex? Your mom or your dad? The streets. Hmm. Streets. Oh, that's really a crazy education. Right. <laughs> what did that look like? Yeah. Though? No, like, I didn't what did think they, about it until learn? right now. Right? I didn't really me. know. I don't. This is couch. Something wrong with this couch. <laughs> like, it's not supposed to be couch. that deep. I didn't. I never thought. <laughs> did you just make fun of how I say couch? Yes, I did. That's wild. Do I say it weird? Couch. couch. Say it again. You put an N in it, like mm -hmm. my cousins couch. and them. I feel like I'm being. No, you're not. Say it ahead. Finish your story. Couch. Say couch. The sofa. <laughs> That was good. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't even think about it. My mother didn't really like talk to me about sex. Like, mm -hmm. when she she gave me the rundown. Like, don't bring no babies here that you can't take care of. Don't make me no uh, grandma. Grandma. Um, that ain't really about sex. <laughs> no. Yeah, like, my mama said. Don't, you, like, my mama said you can fuck like girls that don't look like me, but don't bring nobody home that don't look like me. Okay. Because she was racist. <laughs> She, but now she cool. Now she, she watch raising candy. She see you fuck that way, bro. Like it's you know that's a touchy subject for me. Why? It's a touchy subject because like it's not like my personal preferences mm -hmm. being displayed on screen. Mm -hmm. So I, like people really, but, but but because of you know black women, they had it hard. Like women of color have had you it. You know, hard. think about it. What black girls were you with though? Exactly. Like, they doing me dirt they out here. They trying to end my career. Let me and they were yeah. Light skin Hispanic. Yeah, there was, there was white passing. I heard you mm -hmm. requested. I, you, I heard you requested that. For no, who? I'm with you. <laughs> you had it for the Listen, listen, I'm gonna be real. Oh, in last week's episode? Listen, yeah. Listen, look, I say it like this. My penis is the UN, but my heart is racist. <laughs> my heart black. Okay. It just, I just like black women or women of color of any kind, but like I've never really like had a preference for I like white people are cool. Mm -hmm. You know they cool, they all right. Like I'm not, I'm not. But it doesn't represent me properly to pretend as if I really be out here just smashing I white women. I couldn't picture you marrying like, a white woman and having conversations and like. I can, I can operate, like, but I'm not gonna feel at home. And even like I put it like this: black women are number one, but I do got to think for like Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and shit. Mm -hmm. After, like I can't lie. Like if you okay. if you had slave trade blood in your in your shit, I can fuck with <laughs> you. You know what? If anybody slave was enslaved in your background, we can we can that's get this crazy. thing popping. That's that's, that's how I feel. The Dominicans in next. Are you Dominican? Yes. See, I thought she was so black. So is she. Yeah. I thought she was black. She's I thought you were black. Dominican. You see? I'm yeah, black. But I am black. Y'all are like, black. I tell people all the time, like, my family ain't fuck with me the way they should have because I was the dark, like, I was the black mm -hmm. and I always, like, I felt more comfortable around black people see, that's, because that's of how right. I was treated yep. at home. Mm -hmm. See, that skin as shit. The dark skin. You yeah, know. see, that negrito shit. Like, that shit they be doing yeah, ain't right, like, man. Yeah, like Morenita. Yeah, because yeah. the Tainos Bullshit. was fucking niggas. They was fucking niggas. And that's why y'all look like this. That's why y'all. <laughs> that's why y'all got hair, curls, and ass. It's because of us. You know what? So it's okay. So y'all us. Stop this division. We're all one. You too, <laughs> yeah. That. Uh, well, I'm Chinese and black. See, you know what it is. All yeah. that. Yeah, so we know Somebody what's going like on in that house. Somebody like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you like also, that. let's because I love the fact that, and I, I know I sent you this message, mm. but I love the fact that on Raising Canaan, you do music on, like oh, you're yeah. a record label owner <laughs> and producer on that show because that is really you in real life. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Although, like, I don't think you've killed anyone, but. No. <laughs> if I, <laughs> I did, mean, I what know. would I Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. No, no. 
I'm, I'm a square, <laughs> bro. I ain't done nothing in my life. Ever. <laughs> Matter of fact, I stay in the lines. You know, I, I stay mm-hmm. out the way. But uh, did you love the fact that that was your storyline too? I didn't actually. I thought it was corny. Really? Like, I love how they're doing it as a story. Mm-hmm. But for me, as a person, I'm like, oh, damn. Now niggas gonna roll their eyes mm-hmm. when me and the homies get it popping on. Because like, like right now we have like three... We have a lot of people from the section popping. Like, mm-hmm. uh, we got uh, Baby Stone Gorillas. We got my, we got Slum Lord over there. He's big in my in my studio yeah. right now. Young Jay. We got a bunch of the Chucks to rest in peace to my nigga Infant. Like, we was really going. Like, my city was really having a kind of a, a, a revamp of music. And so when the show came out, it just kind of became like the obvious thing. Even though I've like had Grammy nominations since I was like twenty. Like, and so it, it kind of was like ah, oh, people gonna roll their eyes. You know how they did? Uh, what's I that thought it was name? cool for you. you thought it was cool? Only because uh, I already knew you did music. Though. I right, know, yeah. But so, like, yeah, I've been writing records with Brent and shit. Like, I'll be really oh, yeah. biased. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, so, what records did you write? With Role Brent? model. Oh, um, oh, nice. With him, but but if I'm being completely honest, Brent don't let nobody write for him right. or with him like that. So it was really an honor just to be in the room. I came in. He was one of our favorite lip service episodes. Yeah, he was here yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We tried to we try to watch it last night. He be too cool. Like, he's such a. You know what it is? I love I love Brent because he's like the perfect young nigga. Like he, he, he calm, he's wise, he takes in game. Mm-hmm. He be anxious, but he like, he yeah, really like. Very late. And he say mm-hmm. anything, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, that's why, that's why yeah. he my little Yeah, boy. I know. That's I, why he my little boy. I appreciate it though. Yeah. yeah, he really like that. Like I really fuck with him. And that's he's mad humble. Like he'll just pull up when we was in um, Baltimore mm-hmm. at oh, Black yeah. Swan. He was like, oh, I see you about to be in the city. I'm about to pull up. He like that. Yeah. If he and say I'm he like, gonna do it, cool. he gonna do it. That's a solid young man. And that's why we connect. And the best video I ever saw him was when he was about, when they was fighting. And, and he just was like, he just got out of there. I was like, That's no, wait, me. the one where he was fighting, I got on well, his ass. Somebody about that. was fighting, and he oh, was, yeah, because I was about to be like, yeah, I got on his ass about him and his brother tearing up shit. Because they, I was like, y'all can't be out here beating niggas up without us, man. You out the way, you know, without us, not yeah. because it's not don't be. Oh, right. no, because you, you the bag, bro. Stay out the way. It's like, like he be telling me, like, bro, you the bag. Like you got to protect the bag. You tripping? Mm-hmm. Like you stand over, and we'll pack the niggas out. And it's my city. If something happened to you. His, we share the same manager. We have right. the same manager. Okay. Ty Bays, then Jane Andrews. Oh. Um, those are our management. So they gonna call me if he in LA. Something happen. You beat somebody up. They go to the car. Something serious happen, bro. Like what? Right. They on your line with it. What? They LA me. is kind of wild right now it's too. I was gonna on. say that. Like LA, it's a lot going on. It's so funny to us. It's just regular. Like it's just it's so regular. Yeah. I would, yeah. <laughs> I, when I'm there, I try not to do nothing and not be nowhere. I'm not supposed to be. I know you I just, don't never tap in. I'll yeah. be like, what? I just mind my business. <laughs> yeah. I like go to my room, wow. go to whatever I'm supposed to. Just because I feel like the even in my hotel, right? I was staying at the one. That's like my favorite the hotel. One hotel, of course. Yeah. That's and nice. so they, I was like, I'm gonna go to Pink Dot and grab some. They, at the Pink front desk, they were like, yeah, right across the street. That's ghetto. Why you? Pink Dot because it was right across the street. Spot? I needed tampons. No, Pink Dot is like a delivery service with a ghetto ass <laughs> clown car um, that delivers shit three o'clock in the morning. But it was literally right across the street. They told uh, you not and to go? I needed to go. Yes, they told me not to go. That's funny. And I was like, I can't walk across the street <laughs> to get tampons. No, yeah, because yeah, they, and, they, they didn't have any at the desk. I'm just I think, being honest. I think people hype it up. Like, like my city's always been dangerous. But I told the homies this like three years ago when we first started shooting Raising Canaan. I told everybody, I said, this is what's going to happen. The worst thing the government could have done was print, overprint all that money and give it away to people. Mm-hmm. That's what Trump did to keep niggas from tripping. And so the moment that happened, niggas went and bought shells, guns, straps, and designer clothing. That's and, all they bought. And they ain't got no more money. Nope. So niggas going to be robbing you in Dior. And that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And less than six months later, that's what started happening. Remember, ABN, I was out with you. Yes. yes we right. went out. I was, <laughs> Why look, the man, we was in Long yeah. Beach. I had an yes. appearance. Mm-hmm. Right at Capital Postal, yeah. you know, black woman, she owns this mail um, delivery service oh, where you can do you whatever. So afterward, you know, some of some of my friends came and they were like, we're going to come. Went they just want to make sure I was good. Yeah. We went out to go eat. Yeah. What happened? Well, we went back to the hotel. Yeah, we left. They went home and one of them ended up Got getting robbed, robbed at gunpoint. Right, right after we left Girls, them. Some females? Guys. Oh, dude. And, oh, we, yeah. and they were like, you guys, <laughs> He's y'all like, want to y'all wanna come kick it? And you were like, nah. I'm, I'm like, going to the hotel. And they to do Wait, and we did, left. did you have that accent when you said it? Say it again. My the accent. accent. New York accent. Did you got yeah, an accent when you yeah. said it? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Niggas like this that. This accent's not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Going anywhere. <laughs> she moved to LA. Dominican, New yeah. York. Yeah. Where'd I'm in you? LA now. Oh, what? Welcome to the video, man. We love you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Where you at? Or don't, you I know. I can't, yeah. 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 Come on, try to get it. Come on. Nobody will say it. Look, bro. But then you, apparently, you with the, you good. You good. You good. Like, and niggas been playing that tough shit. Like, I, I ain't gonna pretend right now. Like I say it right now. If you with me and my niggas, then you with me and my niggas. But 
when you outside of us, ain't nothing we can do. Yeah. Right. I'm on my business because I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. So that's I already know. know. Like, that's right. Even, that's even, that's even as a woman yeah. in New yeah. York, you gotta you know. be on. You gotta really on, be on your toes. Yeah. and alert. So in LA, it's not my city, and I'm also like I don't be outside. I'm not right. like a. I'm a homebody. You're good. I go out when I need we to. Mm -hmm. But the city is kind of hot. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's hot. And, but I think also, like, there is a lot going on. But to mm. your point, that's what y'all used to. But yeah. I think the internet also heightens things because you see mm -hmm. videos, you mm -hmm. see, like, tweets yeah. and things. Yeah, because at the end of the day, and this is the, <laughs> the shit I hate because, like, there's an election coming up. We got Karen Bass running. We got, even in New Jersey, they just have an election. Like, there's, there's like, local, really important things for, like, mm -hmm. niggas want to talk about the presidency and shit. Like, your local election matters more. Man, you like way more. I don't fuck with none of them niggas. They marks. But 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 listen, it's not because they're bad people. It's your job. Like if I talk shit about you, it's like if your music trash, your music trash. That don't mean you a bad person. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that way about politicians. The problem is, is when they're bad at their jobs, me and my niggas go to jail more. Me and my right. niggas don't get resources. The children don't get to grow. The the like women don't have access to fucking tampon. Like shit gets stupid. So mm -hmm. I I get a little bit bit more upset. But with with the current elections coming up, it's like this shit is important. Like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. very important. It definitely is. I always say that. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's also also important for us to be informed yeah you know on who's running for and also to make sure that we're not just voting but also after you when you know you're going to vote for somebody let them know what it is that you expect from them showing up for certain things because yeah. like i host certain town halls i don't see you know mm -hmm. i need more of us to be there because i've been at town halls where they say i need this i need that i need this and they're like okay there's somebody right here right now who you can talk to mm -hmm. right and like right. hold people accountable you can't just vote and then expect things to just change, change. Yeah, correct. Yeah. you got to step on it but it's, it's tough like but that's what I was saying about the city like I don't want to give the impression that the city's like purging like that's also just like a counter a counter I um, feel like that about anywhere outside of New York though I feel like when I move around other places I just I think well New York has been crazy too yeah that's what I'm about to but say but I'm like, so comfortable but I'm so I'm from here so yeah, it's, you know, it's the devil you like know. how do you like being in New York I don't like well I don't like the I don't like being away from home mm -hmm. like in, in New York has a bunch of shit to offer but I ain't going because like right. I'm a street nigga I'm not going like, and you know your streets yeah yeah yeah. I'm out the way like and, and like we just tapped in with some homies out here like they they kind of I'm moving around but the one time I go outside I'm with the homegirl who like does business she's a square she don't get no problems some nigga grab her I'm already on his bumper so like mm -hmm. just going outside being yeah, with me my face sure. on shit is, is different niggas is looking at you like a trophy right. and and I know that the best way to stay out the way is to stay out the way. Stay Not because I'm going to get hurt, but I'll be done done something to somebody. Mm -hmm. And God forbid something happened to me, you know, I'm a mama child. So, but I say that to say that, like, I don't want, I hate that we give this impression that everything's a, a mad city. That's not the truth. Crime has decreased dramatically over history of like violence. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's not like every block you go into, you going to die. Mm -hmm. That's not right. fair. Right. No, I agree For with sure. that. It's not fair. It's really just like sections and region and being conscious and being smart and being, and being smart because yeah. yeah. if I'm not from somewhere I just am I'm not trying to do no extra shit Correct. that's all if just I'm not from there extra. I'm not doing no extra shit it's like relationships just chill yeah. right. I've chill. always said I'm not moving out of my hood to move into another hood right. I'm good right here <laughs> I get a house right here <laughs> but good. I know you're not gonna run up in my shit I wish it was like that my hood gone now that shit gonna be it's, they gonna be buying up everything well you need up. to buy it up and yeah. rebuild it right. and that's, that's that was something that I wish people would would do more that was the plan but it just got bought it first of all we didn't even know the jungles was owned by like one white family for like since wow. its inception and then they just sold to this one venture capitalist oh, like damn, a week ago it it's, yeah, a wrap, 20, 20 it's gone. a wrap it's a wrap it's gone mm -hmm. but that's why I wanted to talk to Karen Bass at some point because like you know they shot Training Day in my hood so I wanted to make it like a landmark oh, so that's that they dope. can't like fuck it up Training Day is a landmark yeah, movie yeah, for yeah, sure yeah, yeah, now let me so. ask you this were you always popping like as a kid and everything I what feel you like you know just with the ladies and being uh, popular <laughs> coming up were you uh, always the man not the man I, I feel like I had to fight for everything like, why because like i was never like the first choice i was always second string <laughs> like like i was never because when i was coming up you know you remember M M mario had that song called braid my hair and shit uh -huh. so the light-skinned niggas with baby hairs was winning for a minute <laughs> you know if she couldn't braid your hair in between her legs at the school or in the middle school like you wasn't about to get no pussy like that so you had to really have a mouthpiece and then if you wasn't stepping like that like niggas didn't respect you so i had to like fight extra hard i had to like have cold game like really really have something different um so i didn't have nothing easy come when did but, you have um, your first girlfriend I, don't, I'm, I have only had like one and a half girlfriends my entire life. One and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't so 
Yeah, not you didn't even have like a little girlfriend in high school. No, I was fucking. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What were you getting? I, even back then, I knew that this was stupid. We're not. What are you doing? You're not gonna last forever. No, this is terrible. but you weren't. Like, thinking, you didn't like. You wasn't. Oh, uh, will you be my girlfriend? Check this box. None of that. I was check this box. What's happening? <laughs> he was. You're I'm talking about box, like, was, right? like, Yeah, oh god. What? That shit I'm gonna dumb. check that like, box. Sorry. But you gonna get like no? Like I just knew it didn't make no you sense. You think you were good at fucking when you first started? Well, I got lucky. I got. I got. I was. Uh, what do they call it now? Groomed. Oh shit! Mm. Oh, so you had an older yeah. lady, yeah. older lady that showed yeah, you what the yeah, how yeah. much older? Oh, not that much older. She was a uh, well, shit. I ain't gonna stitch her out on here. Right. Um, <laughs> she was like, she was just, she was entering college, okay. and I was thirteen. Whoa! Yeah. Wait, that's 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 older. That's not that's that much older. The homies, one 13, of the homies, uh, thirteen was, entering college. Yeah, but she was like, I mean, that's like eighteen, nineteen. I've heard way worse. This is not. That yeah, bad. I've had way worse. Yeah, see, no, I said I've heard way worse. I've had way worse. Oh my, in my what? life. Oh no. Yeah, I was <laughs> fifteen and he was like twenty-four. Yeah, that's. Weird. But you know what though? That's the fucked up part. I remember being. You know, when you asked me like, how was it? Like, I always was able to accomplish the goal. Like, if I wanted a woman, I eventually got her. Mm-hmm. But I had to like. Oh, so you were job. going after you her? You work a little bit hard as a thirteen. Any woman, any if I saw it, I wanted, I get it. Like that's what it was. It's like that's my only gift in life. I didn't have no money. Didn't have no clothes. But. If I wanted it, I could get it. So you were a virgin. How did you even, like, where did this happen? It was, we were, my cousin George LaRue and Devon, they were like the prettiest niggas in the world. They sound like you with those names. (laughs) Oh, they were so. I was about to say, this sounds like a pretty boy. They was raw, raw, though. They was really like, but they was gangsters. Hi, I'm George LaRue. I'm Devon. Yo, George was light skinned. George was light skinned, had green eyes, but he was was a gang member, a super gang member. LaRue and Devon had like, they look like Native Americans. They used to slick their hair back. They they had like a pure Native American hair. They had like red skin. Like, I'm the ugly nigga in my family for sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like always. And they was like outside. And so they 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 were they would play ball or whatever. And one of their homies who went to the league or went to, excuse me, went to a D1 school, went to USC. So like they would get invited to the Kappa house. And so they would go because everybody thought they were older and because they were street niggas who protected the Kappa house. The Kappa house was not on the USC campus. They lost a charter back in the day. Mm-hmm. So they in the hood. The house mm-hmm. is in, it's off Adams. Which is if and you know anything about it's like mm-hmm. all, no not Alpha it's all Crenshaw and uh, Washington so it's like in the hood low key so they needed niggas who was around who knew what they was doing so they invite them too and my mama wouldn't let me go over nobody's house she wouldn't let me sleep over nobody's house <laughs> unless they were family so I'd be at their house. And if they oh, out, shit. I'm out. out. And if right. I'm out, they there. So, so my little baby face ass and a big ass profile white tee at this like Kappa house party. <laughs> it was it was hilarious. Looking like a baby. Yeah, but I was first out doing that hall, so I had like I had like uh like an air about you mm-hmm. about me. You know, like you know, like you know how like their kids, you'd be like, that's an adult. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to ask you, did you ever lie about your age to any women at that point? I was never big online. I just would avoid it. I you avoided wouldn't even the answer that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that wouldn't. I, but that's how, how, I, but that's how I ended up getting getting laid because it was a... F- Damn, I ain't going to snitch Just her tell her. They ain't doing no, 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 don't snitch her out. My mama, my mama, my mama might watch this. It's the secret of what happened. You always ask to trust. So I feel like this. There was a young lady who's a friend of the family. Oh, ah, she like, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so she was, she was, in, she had just entered college. So she was at the party because she was a Greek. So she was there and she seen me there, like out late, like. What you night, doing like, here? What is this talking, trying to talk to one of the little freshmen, like neophyte girls, like, and she was on my bumper, bro. She, she like embarrassed me in front of the whole party. Like she came on like, this is a third, this is a little fucking boy. Boy, oh, uh, shit. Fuck. Oh, she was on me, bro, but she was faded. She was faded. So, so like she was tripping, and like George and Larue and Devon all dipped off because they didn't want to get caught too. So they was like they left me hanging. So she grabbed me. She's like, I'm taking you home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She, she was took on you me. home. Right? She, she took was you on. home. Yeah, she took me. She took me to the uh, at the time it's a Starbucks now, but it was an empty lot. And so we went in the car, and I'm thinking of any excuse not to have her take me back to the house, to the crib, to like snitch me out. And I'm like, oh, she's like, I'm gonna, I can't wait till I tell. You done, you fuck, you cooked. I can't wait. Like, you done for it. I'm like, gonna whoop her ass. Right, right. She's gonna go off. And I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. I snitched her out, man. Damn. <laughs> Damn. We'll take that part out. My, my, take my that mama part can't out. watch this. Like, oh, God. Take that name out. We got to take that name out. Okay. We'll take that name out. But essentially, she, like, I had to come up with any excuse to keep her from taking me home. So I said, you can't, you can't take me home. She's like, why? I said, because you drunk. Can't drive. Killed her. She's done for. She's cut. And we sitting there, and we just sitting there. I was like, we. She's like, well, we gonna sit here till I sober up. 
we sat there and it was just like we got to like but i've known her my whole life so mm -hmm. it was like it's you know it was already a comfort there there's already some tension it was already and it just I, I, that's it crazy down. to me because i'd be looking at you as a little kid if i'd known you especially if i'd known you my whole life she right? was only like 17 she wasn't like but still like i seen way more life than especially she. in high school <laughs> like, when you were in high school four-year difference is a big deal like i guess but yeah. she's like a porch kid bro like you know it's different so what did you end up doing? Like, did you know yeah. what the fuck you were doing? Well, that's that's what happened. She te she was taunting me like, what the fuck was you gonna do? You was gonna get her number and what? You ain't you ain't kiss nobody. I'm like, yeah, I kiss somebody. It's like you ain't you you don't know what you're doing. Like you taunting me, and I was like, yeah, no, I, I can show you better. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, so I leaned over and kissed her, and she was like taken off guard. But then she didn't stop it, so it went where it went. Uh -huh. And so that your first time was in the car. Yeah, she was gorgeous too. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, and was that the only time you did it? No, we kept on. We kept on. Like oh, in her dorm. Lord, that could have been like a true crime story right there. and 17. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So how are you guys now? She's dope. She got like three kids. She's married to some football player. She's like a dentist, a master's degree. She's, she's like a functioning dope human. She's a functioning <laughs> like, fine, she's awesome. dope like, human. I actually am not regretting. Like, that's my nigga. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's my dog. <laughs> that's no. So then after that, what did you, like, were you like, all right, I need more pussy? No, nah, like she was so solid. She was so bad. Like I just was like, I'm glad to be here. No, I mean like, I mean like, like <laughs> yeah. moving forward. I mean like other girls. Oh yeah, I mean, well, that, at that age, what thirteen? Between thirteen and sixteen, the only people you having sex with in the hood is people with trauma. Mm -hmm. So like everybody, like everybody, old, either they're older than you or they're just as traumatized or more traumatized than you. So it's nasty. It's fucked up, and you get you form these weird ties and shit. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was a nigga that cared. I wasn't like heartless. So like it, it kind of got like taxing. Like mm -hmm. you be caring about these girls, they daddy done touched them, they uncle done did this, all types of shit. Wow. And you be running into these niggas and then you be on a bumper, but you're a child. Like you can't like it gets weird. So Ooh, like that's at some crazy. Point, right. How do you think yeah. that affects you now? Like as far as I'm relationships. Tired, bro. I'm tired. Now I just want pee. I don't want no smoke. I want you know, go to therapy. <laughs> like I'll do go you, to therapy. You do you therapy. do therapy? Are you I'm therapy? trying. I'm actually looking at my network right now. It's really nice. good. Yeah. I so I'm mm -hmm. I'm going through the cycle of finding no mm -hmm. one tells you when, yeah. that you gotta find the perfect the therapy. Perfect. For you yeah, person. that's yeah. a process. And it's like a relationship. Yeah. It really and is. And it's trial and error too. Sometimes mm -hmm. you try that's somebody, deep. it don't work. And yeah. do you guys find somebody that y'all like yet? Y'all, y'all straight? I've never done therapy. I got her. I, I, did therapy. I love her, yeah. and I see Maria. I don't look at me like. Why are you looking at no, me like that? I have. I, 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 I had a very good down. therapist here in New York, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. You I don't live that, here no more though. So. You think that in a relationship you have to do like couples therapy? Well, it's tough because trauma is seasoning on pussy. Trauma is what seasoning on pussy. Oh my. Bad. Yeah, no, tr trauma is seasoning on pussy. What does that mean? What? Seasoning. Mm -hmm. It adds some flavor. I hear what he's saying. I'm mm -hmm. trying to understand what you mean. I'm it adds some like, flavor, some I'll spice. I put it like, it's put very rare that it. a girl who has no trauma fucking good. If she got a daddy in her life, the, the head ain't usually that great. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. not. Come yeah. on. Right. I'm just saying generally speaking. Explain I'm just saying it. generally I, speaking. Like if she's fucked up, the sex probably gonna be fire. That's just. Wow. I'm just saying. It doesn't that's mean it's always true. But that's, that's just. But you came from a good household. What you mean? Now I'm saying so. You're good at eating. So does that mean you're not good at no, eating pussy? No, 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 no. I had I had my mama and my daddy till I was till I was a certain age, and it mm -hmm. pops. Went off right. But then you thing. also say you learn sex from the streets too. Yeah, so, so like no, because my how parents were older. Pussy? <laughs> Shit, my first. <laughs> this nigga, you wait, you killed my nigga over here. <laughs> you doubled him over. He does this show every day. Yeah, this nigga is killed over right now. Right. You get at your job. How did I learn to pussy? Look how red he turned. Crying That's and everything. Crazy. crazy. That's a handsome white guy too. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah. He be striking shit. You be striking shit. When did you learn how to He's eat a model. pussy? She wasn't white, was she? Damn. Oh. Shout out to him. He wiping his mouth. Right. He like, yeah. He seasoning. He Trauma, huh? Fuck she was then. fucked up, huh? No daddy, he nigga. Yeah. Oh, oh, no daddy. Yeah. No daddy. Yeah. Daddy. No daddy. <laughs> no, how did you learn about me? Uh, it was the first girl I fell in love with. So it was like um, my like my brother at the time. His 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 sister. Like it was his cousin, but like they grew up together. So it was like his sister. And I like grew up like admiring her. She was like perfect and like nice and sweet and just a great human. And then eventually I ended up fucking with her. Thank God she was my first girlfriend. I fell in love. It was dope. And then so wait, it's your brother's cousin? No, he said his brother. Like, like his, my brother. Like, like my brother. Like oh, not like my actual brother. brother, brother, brother. brother. Like, Hold up. Yo, right. you watch it's traumatic. Yo, you <laughs> right. now I didn't say that much trauma. That's just incest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's a little big. Well, that could have no. been like a half brother cousin that wasn't related to you. That's I am not Kevin Gates, bro. Okay, okay. She's not that. Brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. From another mother. Kevin Gates, bro. I ain't with all that. Okay, so it was like a brother. Okay, yeah, it was like a brother. So like she was just like you know she's like you know you you know how you a kid like the movie she come down 
stairs, that should be slow motion. <laughs> yeah, so like it that. So like, but we were friends for a long time. And then when we got older, I got to deal with her on a real level. So, you know, for her, I was like, cause when I was young, you know, I was taught to pleasure because I had a, the girl was teaching me, I was her sex toy. So it right. was like, that was always my upbringing. And so when I got to, this young lady who was way younger than the women I had been dealing with, but older than me, it was kind of like I was teaching her more so than mm -hmm. me being taught, but I hadn't ate a lot of pussy because I thought it was special. Okay, mm -hmm. it is. You don't think it's special anymore? Now it's mandatory. Yeah. yeah. You know, you gotta unless, it unless it's a random it fling. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's a random fling. Okay, look, mama, I don't want William calling me, all right? <laughs> right. This nigga Bill gonna be like, you I know mama. this nigga Bill. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Bill gonna be present. Y'all saw him. What about the first yeah, time a girl squirted right. on you? Yeah, that shit happened so early, I thought it was regularly. And then, yeah, I just kept doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept going. <laughs> Wait, is that something that you like? Um, I mean, yeah. Not she, deal. Like, I, what I did learn was as I started to deal with more different women, it's not fair to expect that out of every girl, right? You now, you know, and you be. But you bring there, that like, out of them, you know. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, most. You know, it's look. I don't want to degrade other people's sexual experience. So yes, it it is a thing that can happen. I we're would not like to squirt make that shame happen. here. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, not no gonna squirt shame. shame in. Yeah, we're not gonna squirt shame in Angela because she never squirted. I was like, poor baby. Thank you. Maybe it's the Asian in you because the anatomical. You know, you tiny. You ain't never squirted. <laughs> I say. I, I say, baby. Yeah, poor baby. Yeah, no, I'm good though. Like, yeah, it's. No, it's, it's she's like, I'm 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 good. Good. She's like, I'm rich. I feel like when you squirt, <laughs> I have it's like, I have never squirted. It's like wow. an orgasm and a climax that's just because there's like, some women who have you never tried orgasm. not to, but it's just yeah. like you, it's after like a while you can't hold that back. Damn, yeah. it's nothing like watching you could control a regular orgasm if you choose to, but you can't control your squirt. It's just at all. I love that. Lose control. Like, do you do you care if it like messes up your sheets you're good well, I, well that's why i put you know you have plastic what, what? do you put plastic <laughs> in my grandma house <laughs> 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 what do what you, you put, put on? Oh, no 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 so look so i'm gonna be real with you <laughs> you know a girl gonna squirt watch this no, no, you gotta be prepared wait better to be prepared i, I, I think i know what he gonna say what i'm gonna say go ahead waterproof mattress cover oh shit she already know it. that's there and then check this out oh you put God. so then there's like i got a high threat so i like soft sheets Right, I like mm -hmm. that, and mm -hmm. I also learned when you was in a, when I was in a long term relationship with a female. What I learned was, oh, you gotta have the satin pillows for their mm -hmm. hair. All you right, feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. you gotta have the you know, but you, nobody wants to sleep on, on satin that. though. Yeah, no, right. So slippery. You, exactly. So I have like designated <laughs> sheets for designated purposes. Wow. So if it's about to get cracking, like. Mm -hmm. So how does the that work are, though? You switch the sheets before you about right. to have sex. Yeah. After or before I don't ruin you, we, you know you gonna get in the shower. <laughs> so you Swap don't want everything in a mile radius. You can like, tell he does production and everything. He no, yeah, no, it's not even that. It's <laughs> just how like, you set that up. Do you take girls on date and you're already like when no, you I do not start date. date Okay, I don't so you don't, you don't date? date. No, what so you just, that's what ridiculous. Do you do? What do you mean? What's ridiculous? He out here. He wait, wait, he tell me what's more ridiculous. He he's wait, wait, wait. Tell right. me what's tell me what's more ridiculous. <laughs> Two people spending obscene amounts of money that, for somebody that they don't know they even like. Why does that have to be obscene? I'm just saying, it's obscene. in this day and age, everybody's it, not it rich can. like it us. It does not have to be obscene. When you look at the average cost to just go to the movies with gas now, with money, it's an expensive venture for you most have men. Money. Stop putting me in this. This is generalization. He's a general. By the way, I take care of five people. I don't have money. Don't yes, come you here do. for you that. Yes, you do. You have money. I take care of my mom, I my grandma, tell. my pops, my hood. Like, no. Wait. No. I have expenses is what I have. No, you have expenses. money. I can tell by. The expense account is lengthy. That's a new no do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> they gave this to me on set. <laughs> Listen, Wait, so you do take women on dates? No, I, no, I have taken women on dates. They're my girlfriends. Like but my so girlfriends. he's saying that you have one and a half girlfriends. Mm -hmm. so. right. She got the best dates in the world. Like what? She went to Bali for her. Like she went to Bali, glow on the dark tour. I was a kid. I was. I really knew how to do this. I was really out here. <laughs> so like, you take I took them her on mama. dates after you guys become yeah because i feel like this is the situation i've never been or can't see myself being with someone who hasn't been my friend first so mm -hmm. we've been okay. homies yes. and me and my homies Understood. we do shit mm -hmm. like okay. platonically me and slim going somewhere if i got it i'm paying for it got if it. he got it he paying for it so there have been many of women okay. that i've had that i've we're getting to know each other okay. and i'm just blowing because you my nigga okay. but it gets into tricking when there's an expectation when there's an expectation of me spending money to have time with you my family was like my, my, my daddy my uncles was pimps like they that's tricking. I don't care how you slice it. If I'm paying for your time, that is tricking. But I don't think so. I think if you paying 
if you're spending time with someone doing something, mm-hmm. right? That you're you're investing in money hopes that into what? that. In hopes that what happens? It's different for that everybody. You get the all right. But even if even if you are even when you are your friends, though, do you pay when you guys go out? I pay for everything for my friends. So then, I pay for everything for my friends. The difference is expectation. The difference is expectation. The difference is what I have no interest in having sex with my friend Gail Bean, but I will pay for everything for her. Her nigga got to stop me from paying for shit because right. that's my nigga. Just like I would do for my homie. For if we was homies, that's how I do. I just take care of people. Now, the moment that it becomes about an exchange is different because now we're making investments and I need to make sure that my investment is secure. I don't have the luxury of coming from generational wealth. Right. Every dollar I, I've taken care of. My, I've been helping with rent since I was 15. So let me. So how do you determine like. Right. Because you said you pay for your cross. friends. Mm. So a woman is your friend first. Yeah. And then when so she you, you'll pay over. for that yeah. with no expectations. Correct. And then it moves into a different zone. Yeah. If you my girlfriend, I'm, we about to get married. Mm-hmm. So if you so fuck, I'm for that's your girlfriend? They, this is what I'm trying to understand. No. No, no I'm no. fucking regarding. Okay, like, so, so, but I'm trying to understand. So you're saying if we're, okay, so <laughs> we're friends, we get to know each other, which is understandable. You pay for me, I pay for you, whatever. Right? And most of the time, I'm be real. If you, It depends on your situation. Like if, if I asked you to go somewhere, I'm not letting you take care of it. I right. put you in a position. I put you in a situation. Right. But if you ask me to go somewhere, I'm like, if you expect me to pay, I'm looking at you funny. I'm going to pay because my mama from the South. But I'm going to look at you funny like, oh, right. you're trying to get a free shit. What if a girl pays for you? Are you okay with that? Um, it gets funny. It gets tricky. See, I'm I've let, a, I've let a woman do it. No, 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 no. no. Check this out. Of- I've let a woman do it. Mm-hmm. But we, we all know, men know, when a woman does that, we trying to see what type of female you are. And if right. she does that, we always make sure we give it back anyway. She's going to leave with more money than she pay. Now you got to eat a pussy. Huh? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait, so no. so if, if I'm your pussy, she should be paying me. So your friends, That's what I just said. Wow. <laughs> she gonna friends, pay. Oh, God, you know what's up. Listen, your friends, you getting to know each other, you mm-hmm. vibing, and you fuck. Right. So you go together because you fucked? No, no. What? Why are you attaching those two things? No, because you're telling me about expectations. I'm what? just trying to say. So let me, so let me make this clear. Like, like, yeah, so what is dating you look yeah, like? So that's like, the process of dating don't you. Date. <laughs> she get it. So I'm going to put if it like this. Girl, if you're you dating me, you're about to be my wife. It's that serious. If you, it's if you all date or nothing me, with him. I'm paying, you are, we going to get property in your name. If I'm dating you, you going to leave. If, if we don't work out, you're leaving with something. But I'm curious. Either we go in there you or out, we not. Right. You out. It's only one and a half times. But, you, I'm, but I'm curious. You out with your homies, yeah. having a great time. Correct. Everybody's drinking. Everybody having fun. You it's see lit. a girl that you really like. She's beautiful. She's mm-hmm. attractive. Everything about her is glowing. That's you want to get to know her. <laughs> what is, what happens dope. then? You decide to try now, to be her friend. friend? Pre-2012, pre I'm on her. What's up? What's good with it? What you, what you want? Like, what's, what's up? We can, we can do things. We can go to park. We can go to a museum. As we can friends. Go, yeah, as homies. And learn each other. And then once we want to go there, then I'll pay for everything. But after, <laughs> after Snowfall, <laughs> like, after I ain't going no. After Snowfall. Uh, the Me Too movement was a thing, mm-hmm. and I'm not taking no chances. Jesus. She got to come say something to me. You be, you damn near got to come pull the dick up out me, like nigga. Wow. I need that straight up. Then you Otherwise, can have a I'm Me Too shooting. against her. I'm not shooting. No, I mean, when's the last, When's the shooting. first time you fucked a white woman? Early on, uh, wait, let's let's see. The first time I fucked a white woman. Oh, on a on there's this there was this thing called Young Black Scholars in L.A. Where <laughs> young Black Scholars. This sounds like scholars. <laughs> wow. the misdemeanors. <laughs> what the we got y'all is going on here. Yeah, well, well, you know they take the young, oh, the kids man. who like either you're a senior or you're a junior and you and your grades is cool and mm-hmm. you from the section, but they want you to do better in life, so mm-hmm. they want to prepare you for college life where you get there because they had a horrible retention mm-hmm. rate for people for kids from the section or from disenfranchised areas. Right. So they would take you to go on a trip on a college campus. Okay. So you, white girl so you went on the college campus and fucked a white girl? Yeah, fucked the shit out of her. Yeah, it was great. She was How did that even happen? Yeah. She was one School of the visit. people that was showing us around with the homie. Actually, that's yeah. not true. My black, the, there was a black dude who was from LA who was our counselor guy who like takes <laughs> us around, you know, our peer to peer dude. And he had the white hoes lined up. Oh my he God. He was out here doing God's work. That's God's my nigga. Wow. Did that make you want to go there? No. <laughs> <laughs> 100% not. 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 Like, God, he's like, fuck your teacher. I haven't fucked the teacher, but I have fucked the, uh, the you know, the college counselor, like the one who's Jesus. supposed to help you go to college. The, the mm-hmm. guidance counselor. Guidance counselor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. close enough to a teacher. <laughs> now, what do you be thinking when you do your love scenes as Nothing. Lou? And, and I'm thinking of Me Too movement. That's what I'm thinking of. Wow. wow. Uh-huh. Really? I'm thinking yeah. of not, I'm not, I don't you want don't that do weird shit going, nothing. I'll be but thinking, are you comfortable? What do you need? What do you require? 
Is there anything that we can all do <laughs> wow. to make you feel comfortable? You're great at your dance, because I'm not going to lie. That last scene. Oh. Yeah, yeah I was fucking in the studio. And she and was like, you know what was my in? favorite? When she was like, you got to finish. You're not, you you not going to finish. Yeah. Yeah. I was tight for her. Like, you got to finish. I was actually happy that she said that. Yeah, I was to too. Shout like, what's up? What the fuck? Yeah, I was like, no, you better fucking finish. And you couldn't. Hey, dogs. That's crazy. Hey, she no. Well, there's a whole death going. There's a there's three men in here with, with semi automatic weapons and y'all worry about me fucking. I know, man. I like that. I thought that was great. Yeah. Men, if you out Finish there, your it's never enough. <laughs> 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 the fact that she already walked in on some even crazier shit. Wild shit, yeah. yeah. You know, like that body. to her is like yeah. I, I was done. actually yeah I was no, disappointed okay, in you. I, see this. I, I was can disappointed see this. in you. Yeah. Damn, me as She a was person? disappointed in Lou. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You need to play We need to start it. She be damning me. Nigga, I'm disappointed in you. I, I should have. Why would you? You should have kept you, fucking. You should have kept fucking that girl. Because she was probably about start. to have. There's gonna, nothing worse than when you are about, about to have to an come. orgasm. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's over. Worst. Oh, my yeah. God. There's a man that even sucks. Like, when you when you know that she's about to get there. Yeah. Oh, you ever had blue balls? Not really. Not even as a crib? Uh, first of all, not, first of all, let's clarify. I'm, I'm not a great. That was let's just great. make sure that's not a thing. I'm not that. Um, respect to them. You but you've me? had blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think that's, I think that shit that niggas lie about when they're young. I don't know. Yeah, but then again, I, my, experience, they have. my experience is not everybody else's experience. I was doing shit early, so I didn't have that problem. Yeah, you 13. just finish it yourself. No, I actually didn't. I didn't. I actually didn't even receive an orgasm until I was sixteen. I've been fucking since I was thirteen. What? So what was happening? I was fucking the shit out of girls till they came, and then just walking. And then away. you weren't coming. Not for years. Why? Not for years. I didn't, you know, didn't know how. how I didn't to? know how to. Yeah. Oh. I had wow. never touched you were myself. So what was your first? I orgasm? thought touching myself was gay. I was really fucked up. So how did that feel? Your first orgasm? She was crazy. Like, it was wild. Like, Star Spangled Banners. Yeah, fireworks. that shit was wild. I was, was like, oh, this from, is how this shit, this is what niggas be, was this it is why niggas be dying over pussy. <laughs> was it from sex or master? Oh, it's from sex. Sex, yeah. How old were you? Damn. No, he it was from 16. head, actually. It was, um, Since 13. To, no, he said 16. Yeah, no, I didn't have my, yeah, I didn't have my first orgasm until I was 16. I've been fucking since I was 13. I've been getting head since I was 10. Good Lord. You masturbate? No, I didn't know how to masturbate. That's, that's you masturbate, masturbate now. I masturbate now. Yeah, I mean, I learned how to masturbate after I When do you masturbate? Like, what time do you find in between you, everything would, you got going William, on? don't listen here. What he knows to not to listen. Would you like to make an appointment? Is that? <laughs> no, I don't want to watch <laughs> you masturbate. I'm like, why are you asking what time? <laughs> no, I'm saying because you're a busy person and you have a lot going on. And uh, some men say that they don't ma masturbate because they want to preserve their lives. Oh, you must talk to that. Joey. Yeah, Joey. Mm -hmm. That's what's up uh, Okay, now I get it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Joey's nuts. I wasn't here for that conversation. <laughs> you weren't? No. So Joey yeah, was, was the one. Speaking of Joey's nuts. <laughs> oh, uh, no pun, no pun. Joey's seminal fluid retention is his own business. Kevin but, Gates says that also. Just, mm -hmm. You know what? Let's let's leave Young Gates out of this. Let's just leave him out of uh, You know, I don't Shout want that man got a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I, look, I support it. I think there mm -hmm. is some type of like, you know, there's probably some benefits to that. I personally just try to be in moderation. You know, but I don't smoke, I don't drink, so I gotta get gotta it do in. something, right? Gotta do something. Mm -hmm. So when did you start masturbating? After I had my first orgasm. After that, you were like, I need to chase yeah, this. Yeah, he was like, hey. I gotta get that back. I need that. Okay. <laughs> need that smoke. <laughs> need that smoke. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but I was scared of having kids, so I like I I didn't fuck without condoms until like. 19. Mm. Okay, that's good. That's that was good. responsible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was taught. I was, I was yeah. So what about the first time you didn't use a condom? Were you nervous? That was what the girl I told you I was in love with, the my one first you girlfriend. With. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Did y'all have a discussion about it? Like, okay. We're... Um. Well, I was in love with her, so if she wanted to have a baby, I was down to have it. I was ready to get married, have a baby at 18. I was with it. So what, what happened? Uh, It's funny, she was older than me. She might have been 21, 22. I was like eight, 17, 18. I can't remember. Um, but she was young she was older than me but she was younger than me because she had not left the house i had been out the house since i was 16. so like for me i was different like i just wanted to be like a good nigga because my mom and shit. i was like oh like you know if i find one boom and and we at that time i thought i had so much sex i was cool like when you from la you know like it's funny I, Whenever I see rappers, niggas from like small cities come to LA or New York or whatever, they go crazy over y'all. Like, cause they like, they haven't seen y'all. They haven't been around y'all. But if you grew up here, like there's a gorgeous woman in your class from the age of like elementary school. So you didn't experience that. So it's not crazy. So I didn't really want nothing else. I just like, mm -hmm. I loved her and I just wanted to be with her. I didn't care. I would have been married to her to this day. Straight up. Aww. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Oh, that's so that's sweet. So sweet. Yep. Are y'all still cool? 
That's my nigga. Okay. Yeah. That's you my come nigga. with all your with people that you I used got to no fuck smoke, with. bro. Like everybody. There's no, the there's no woman out there that's like. The I hate nah, him nah, in nah, reverse. Nah, nah, I think I think nah, 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 nah. You that's not a thing. I don't do that because because there's a part of me that we cool, but you you fumbled the bag, bro. Yeah. Mm. So you fumbled the bag. So what do you do think about marriage now? Right. I think it's a contract. I think it's financial. Mm. Um, I think it's. I think there's a part of it. I think that union, like eternal union, is romantic and beautiful. And I think there's only a few men on this planet that can do that monogamously. And those men are brilliant and awesome. Mm -hmm. I think that most of the time, what people think marriage is, is not what it is. It's partnership sure. through thick and thin, mm -hmm. whatever it look like. If y'all niggas want to fuck donkeys, y'all do that together. It's different for everybody. Do. Right. But you don't want to fuck donkeys. Some right. people like that, bro. That's yeah. all this shit. I don't judge niggas. Y'all do y'all weird shit over there. Mm -hmm. But like, I would judge somebody if they- For sure. But that's not your partner. Okay. Because there's two people out here that like yeah. animals and they need to be together doing whatever they do. I mean, you I think it's illegal, what? but whatever. It's not for me. The point is, is that like that's what marriage is like. That's right. your that's your person until you all go. After you die, your energy gonna find each other. So like mm -hmm. you gotta be careful with that. For me. Now, marriage is a contract. That mm -hmm. is a business. You are combining two different businesses. So it should be treated mm -hmm. like you combining two different businesses. That ain't got nothing to do with y'all love and none of that other shit, in my opinion. Do you have any fetishes? Since no, you don't drink, I'm you don't basic. smoke. Yeah. I'm basic. I thought I did, but I'm basic. What do you mean you thought you did? Because I thought like, you know, oh, like, you know, because like, you know, the first time you do anal with a girl and shit, you're like, oh, yeah, nigga, I'm a freak. And then you realize, nope, there are niggas getting fucked in the ass. I'm not him. <laughs> not me. I'm not with all that. But that could be a fetish, though. Like, like having anal with women, like that could be something. Oh, that's, that's like the really only thing. Into, that no, you always no, 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 think no. about. Is this no, the no, only no. way you can come? Yeah, that's, like that's that. different. And I don't judge people what if that's your situation. Did the woman ask you to do it? Yeah, of course. I wasn't finna volunteer. Like, <laughs> well, some guys do. Like, they might be like, I want to see. Excuse mm -hmm. me, I don't want to sound like whatever, but like, bro, I didn't, I didn't hop into that. Like, <laughs> like right. yeah, I need you that. Nah. How did she ask you? Like, put it in my ass. Um, was it during sex or was it a conversation? It was a white girl who used to drive me from this square ass school in the valley that when I got kicked out of my my school in the hood and tested into this. Like, actually, it was like a like a Christian school. <laughs> and they was turned Ironic. out, bro. Wow. They was turned mm -hmm. up. Like my mama thought she was doing good. They were yeah. doing drugs in the bathroom. Those yeah, the, those, those like euphoria. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first time. Yeah, it was euphoria. I had like that's probably the first time I ever had my dick sucked by two women. Was on in that school. Wait, at the oh same my time. god! Mm -hmm. So one would take turn and the other one. No, same time. Same time. Middle class. Huh? Wait, how did in the middle of class? Dick? Not in the classroom, same but in the middle of school. Maybe it's like it's huge and it needed two women. You know what? I'm not even gonna do all that. I want to know. So you never had a reason. Wait, no. but how can You've two women suck your dick no. at the same time? You One was suck. No, I have it. Oh, y'all are bad friends. Why? She deserves that. She, she deserves, deserves a threesome. Though. She deserves that. She get what she wanted. <laughs> you deserve rounds, but she get what she wanted. <laughs> indulge in. I thought that was a train. Mm, no. Look, well, look, I, know, I, I don't, don't say agree it's with not. that either. But I'm it, not gonna say it's, it's not. The, Look, stigma. I don't care how you stigmatize, whatever. You do what you want. It's 2022, baby. You live your best life. As long as y'all healthy, everybody get checked. You check for everything, four mm -hmm. panels. Do what the fuck you want to do. Respect each other. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn 50. I'm going to make 50. dance on my 50th birthday. I'm going to have a whole 25. Dance. Dance. She got time. She got time. Okay, yeah. you said that like it was around the corner. No, just because of the story with AJ Johnson. I want it like that. <laughs> oh, she that. definitely did that. She did her 50th birthday. Yeah. When yeah. I had my threesome, I wanted to be like that. Threesome with two men nah, for her 50th. I heard threesomes are overrated. Is that true? After a while, but it's not like that. It's, it, everything's overrated if you do it too much. Mm -hmm. That's why everything's moderation. Like, mm -hmm. but you know, it's when you've been starving, when you ain't ate in a long time. The moment you get food, you're going crazy. For but if sure. you have steak and lobster every day, you're going to want something else. Mm -hmm. So that's just mm -hmm. what that is. Have you ever gone through a period of celibacy? No. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, like, yeah. No. What is because when people say that, I yeah. laugh. When, when you purposely time. choose to not have sex, yeah, I've for a period of time, sure. I punish like, myself was, all the time. How long? Punish. <laughs> what was the time frame though? <laughs> Maybe the longest was it wasn't that long. It was like two, three months. That's, that's I had a to good complete. Amount, that's because you was filming. I wanted to accomplish a task and then I accomplished it. So like when I write scripts, mm -hmm. it takes okay. like three months for me to like really get it right. Okay. I could do it in a month, but then you got to polish it and really kick it around. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo. This is a big deal. It was a lot of money. So and I wanted to prove focused. to myself. Yeah, I mm -hmm. wanted to like deny myself until I, I did my it thing. It was almost like when a boxer is training and they exactly. don't have yeah. it's like energy. Yeah. And it's been like that when we get into it with the, um, excuse me, when, I, when I've been in situations that were of the street caliber, sometimes you, it ain't no time for no bitches. Like it's time for get it in. It's time mm -hmm. to go do what you got to do. So those were those times. But I was like that. The homies, <laughs> <laughs> they're not like that. They're, the not, they're not like, like, nah, we need no. it. 
Nah, we when you do. orgasm, do like your knees get weak? Do you fall asleep? Like, what's that? Like, do you make nah. loud noises? Do you make no, yeah. yeah. I was about to say, do y'all do you ask scream? everybody this? Yes. No. Oh, <laughs> oh she's just, she, 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 game, game one, game two. Uh, no, I don't, I'm not, I would like to, I guess. What? I don't know. You would like to what? I don't know. It seemed like, you know, the niggas that be tickling their toes. <laughs> <laughs> she like they have a good time. It doesn't do all that for you. Do you scream? No, I'm not tickling. Do you none moan of when you come? You're not tickling. Like you fucking her and she squirt and you come and you I'm looking go, dead in her ah. shit. Like, yeah, give me your soul. Do you moan when you're you having sex? Soul. Like, if it feels great, do you? are you moaning or are you quiet? I'd be like, get that shit. <laughs> I don't believe you. I just got being so cool I think he capping sex. just a little. What yeah, would you like I don't believe it. I have you, no reason you, to cap. Show us some video. Let me see. Let me I know you have video on your phone. phone. Where did I put my phone? You like, 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 like he don't have his phone. phone at? Yeah. I actually don't have my phone. <laughs> He's lying. Look at this. I actually don't have my phone. We need to see. I know we you got video. <laughs> Let's see. Because it's attractive oh. when a man is, to me at least, when a man is moaning uh-huh. during sex. I like that. Like, if you're oh, too shit. quiet, I'm like, all right, what's going on? Nah, I Wait. like when, like, at the, they're like, Oh, I'm like, damn, they're good. Okay. Or like when they be paralyzed <laughs> after. Mm-hmm. Don't touch me. Yeah. yeah. Like twitching yeah. and then their twitching. eyes start rolling. I'm like, you start Yo, twitching. You good? <laughs> or Everything. when they, they <laughs> pass out. Been. Right. So you can go like you, multiple he rounds. He really over there scrolling through the vault. I told you, I know he got some. Wow. Go <laughs> ahead. Oh, what's that? Yo, it's me. That's somebody you know. No, I don't know her. <laughs> That's somebody you know on your phone with you? <laughs> You're a freak. You, you know what it is? What he it got is. a lot of video What's in there. What's going on over there? Right. <laughs> we want to see. No, yo, it's wild. It be going down. He said it's wild. And then you that? Honestly, my, you might have to pass the phone no, around. I don't have to, I, if I'm being real with you, it's crazy in 2022. They just be sending <laughs> yeah. shit. Like, I, I just be like, wow. I can't. Wild. Yo, when they be like, send me a picture. Nah, nigga, I'm good. Oh, even you deny requests? Even if you fuck with them? Yeah, I don't trust that shit. Like you said, it's 2022. Yeah. Well, here's the and thing. Everywhere. If and you trusted shit, them, would you send it? No. Because no. oh, sometimes school. it's not him. Well, you sure. know, because no. The, the reality is don't or nobody care about I your pussy online. I haven't met a man that made me feel. The reality is what? Don't nobody care about y'all pussy online. Let me tell you the truth. There's mm-hmm. so much pussy online. I nobody cares. Mm-hmm. Nobody cares. Huh? A boy. It's that. humiliating well, for Well, that sucks for him if he were a know. porn star, but at the end of the day, what but Reddit yo, thread let me is ask, he? Let me tell you something. Mm. There's some bitch ass niggas out here that act like. For sure. Men are more bitches. Like, yeah. they're just. They're they bitches. bitches. Whatever that's what that's what that's that women would do. They would like. Yeah, man. Men kiss and tell more than women. Yo, Accurate. like I that kiss and tell shit. Like really? Yeah, no. I don't well, Malcolm, do you it. send dick pics? I can't do it no more. See, so now how you? I said I can't please. do it no so more, but it's not that I wouldn't. Then? I want to. What's I wish that the world was. So if you that was way. dealing with a woman and she asked you for <laughs> a dick pic, <laughs> so here, check are you this sending out. it? This is how it go. This how this how I try to be. She was nice though. First of all, you got that demon look too. You saw she said, "Would you send?" This how it go. If if TMZ get a hold of my dick. You can get money. If your pussy hit up online, nobody paying. Why? So it's not That's equal. not true. That's not Why do you equal. think your dick worth more? You, yes. Your pussy would go for online, go crazy. Your pussy <laughs> might go crazy. Your pussy might go crazy. Your pussy might go crazy. You guys have a thing. But regular women, no. Mm-hmm. Nobody gives a fuck. I get what you're saying. My dick, nigga, they can't wait to be like, do look you, at that nigga's dick. It's so, you know, or so small. Whatever they do, you know? Do you shave? Yeah, I do all that. Do you care for women? Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Shit? I'm a grown don't man. Care about I don't none of that. So you don't give us a big old like seventies. So you going 70. with the bad chick a wild wild seventies pussy? <laughs> Bro, is the pussy good or not? Y'all be too worried about I'm the package. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all no. the That's the man that eat pussy the best. If if they don't care. If like, there's a pro on that, get that you don't care. I care about one thing: your pH balance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And your respect level. If you can shut the fuck up and get this dick, then we good. Shut the fuck wow. up and get this dick. Have you ever had to say no because of her pH balance? 100%. But this is the thing. Wait, like, uh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I'm honest too. Thanks for being honest about that because right. some men lie. Most men lie. No, I w- men will and women lie to men about their penis sizes. I think we should all mm-hmm. be honest. I so I see here, I put a condom on. There has been times where you young, you just going to bust it down because you got to bust it down. Like, you just, <laughs> she bad, you got to do it. And you put the condom on, you do what you do. But then when you've been in a long term relationship with a woman and you learn her body, you learn about the microbiome, you learn about the different flora, you learn about that it ain't her fault all the time. You learn all that shit. Suddenly you you you, you like, baby, let me talk to you. You know, let me let's have that's, a conversation. That's real, that's real mm. grown man of you. You have to. Like yeah. I just told I just told a homegirl the other day, I said, Oh, I think I think I said, is your period coming on? She said, Why? She said, Yeah, I'm like two days out. I said, Yeah. So it's, it's you straight. Because sometimes you can tell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, niggas know, like, you know, yeah. if you pay attention, you feel me? <laughs> Most men don't pay attention. <laughs> You're so nice. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about sex on the period? Would you do that? If it's my woman, I guess. 
Not guess, really, yes. That's not good for so your pH. Because no. you got the um the plastic the what do you call it? <laughs> the water. <Stupid. laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's you not got the plastic, plastic on it just the goes on your tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> you should have one in general. You got the plastic on the water. I definitely have a waterproof mattress cover on my bed because I'm a squirter. That's right. Talk your shit. But you can't want to mess up my my good mattress. Yeah, of course. But I don't want to mess up my good mattress. Yo, just because I am one don't mean I want to be one. Would you eat a girl out on the period if she had a tampon in? What? What are you talking about? Fuck. What is do that? <laughs> What'd you say, Angela? <laughs> she won. I, 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 I didn't hear what she said. Hey, what she said? Hey, 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 Angela, you different. <laughs> now I'm saying if a girl <laughs> had a period and she took a tampon, friend. would you eat her out while she had her tampon? Oh, Hell no, I'm not with none of that. Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, I know, but like two do weeks it. before that period come nah, on. Five. I'm, I'm no, five. I may be no. one. Look, I'm going to put like this. We talking about blood. I may be one, but I ain't with all that. Men do that. <laughs> men do that. That's men that will lick the clip. That's men that will lick the clip. You know what? He does yes. anal, so he's fine. Wait, wait, hold on. When you say he does anal, you got to put a preamble on <laughs> that. It's a woman. You got to put a preamble on that. You so funny. He's you done. You said he does anal. No, 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 When I participated at her discretion, I don't be getting nothing put in my shit. It's 22. No, I'm talking about when she's on her period. You would do anal. If she like, yeah, sure. If she yeah. want to. Nothing. I'm not no, even no, going to ask. Talk nope. shit. Nope. It's lip service. Talk your she shit. She about to say Period. something crazy already Nothing. Now. Nah, Nothing. Nothing. Don't do that. We here now. Nope. I'm going to sit here and we, ju- we just going to sit in silence so you figure out what you're going to do. No, I was just going to ask, like, what's the difference? Like, do you prefer? Because I know anal is tighter, so I know men like like that tight. Girl, that ain't no like question. Grand, nah. That's a I'm man saying, that's prefer what prefer vagina over Let asshole the man any day. Oh, you, you, I can't speak <laughs> for you all me? men. I can't speak for all no, men. No, I'm saying for you, like when you, like, you know, do you, I don't I like for my woman to be pleasure. So if she, because men get offended when you ask them about anal situation, oh, but no, some men offended. prefer because of the tightness. Like it's a different tightness. tightness no, I don't, I don't have, I don't think that's what it is. I think for me, it's because even, because there's different types of orgasm, right? There's mm-hmm. vaginal, there's clitoral, right. there's, an, like, and there's, there's an anal one. So like, I just like my, if my woman wants to be pleasured and she gets pleasure from that, the best part for me is that moment where she clench up. Okay. That's it. I don't care what hole it happens in. Man, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. so I that's it, boy. It's the friend in the yeah, background. That's my with dog. Me. He knows. What about if so you eat ass too? Whoa. <laughs> mm. That's a yes. Look, look. That's look, a yes. Look, that's that a nigga yes. munch. Listen. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. This is how it goes. Malcolm this is, this is typical. Mace. No, hold on. Relax. See, this is how that bullshit gets started. I ain't even answered. I haven't even answered. I haven't even answered. Triple M. If it was so wow. <laughs> she out here, bro. She been taking side shots all day. <laughs> all day. All day with this one. And Q. Um, is this <laughs> what's happening? No, I have not I'm answered. Men. This is what I said. You asked if I if I like eating ass or do I? Do you? Do you? Do you? If my woman would like that and she mine, if it's home, if it's in home pussy, I'm mm-hmm. doing it. So I have a question, because you've been saying a lot, if she's my woman, she's my yeah. woman. And you said that you had what one, and one a and a half women half, right so what, is, what does that look like how freaky are you with a woman that's not your woman since you haven't yeah. been in a lot of relationships mm-hmm. I think how far a, do you I think go case a by case scenario it's a hierarchy, <laughs> it's a hierarchy. hierarchy. I think it's time on the board it's like your credit score mm. your credit history uh, right. how long is your credit history mm. what's your whole facts <laughs> and it's not even how many niggas it's which niggas which niggas because okay. there are women quality over quantity let me talk mm-hmm. to you so I remember this happened to me. This is when I realized because the homies used to be really terrible people. We didn't know no better. Oh, she sucked my dick. Boo. I'm like, nigga, but by transitive property, if she's in terrible for sucking your dick, that makes your dick terrible. Like that's it a horrible math terrible, equation. Right, yeah. So I now go, if you that nigga and you fucking with a girl and like if she fuck with like top tier niggas, her pussy top tier. Okay. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about everything. Quite. You know, there's some niggas like if, if she fuck with Slum, I'm not really as worried as she fuck with some of the other homies. Right. Like I wouldn't fuck behind Slum because that's my brother. Right. But if he was another man that I didn't know and I just knew of his pedigree, like, I knew cool. of his status. Like he a good nigga. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can see how you ran that one. Like my nigga Tristan, he's a great person. Okay. Great human. He's married now. But there was a time when he wasn't. And I remember being like, if a woman fucked with Tristan, Mm-hmm. She all right. She was. She was all right. She but was like good. Barack girl. Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if, if you got a hundred bodies and it's Mahatma Gandhi, Malcolm, <laughs> I'm like this for your shit. You like all the women. You got, no, <laughs> you silly. Okay, if it was Desmond, too, ooh, I don't know who's a good nigga now. Too. Who's a like, who's a who's good, good nigga? Denzel. Denzel. Yeah. Nah, he too old. Like, so who's a young good nigga? That's the problem. These niggas ain't shit. Uh, we don't know. You never know. Because yeah, yeah, all these is terrible. Yeah, all these niggas is trash. So I'd be like, no disrespect. <laughs> Respectfully, they ain't shit. So, Respectfully. who's a good nigga that y'all fuck with? Like a who's good man. I'm single. Um, NBA young boy. Mama. 
What? <laughs> what? Bro? Um, no offense just, to that man. I don't know his heart, but I'm. But if if like, but the man kind of slow. What? He kind of slow. Uh, no. Like like he slow. Like he with the bullshit. Like my niggas is slow. Well, like when my homies like in, a, in the hood, that don't mean you you special. It just mean that like if there's action or conflict, we don't think twice about it. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm calling him. It's a positive. Retar- it's a good. It's like he with the bullshit. I don't think I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm glad you got that jacket. <laughs> like, Let me see who's a good guy Russell now. Russell Wilson. No, okay. that nigga's a ye. <laughs> Stop that no, word. You sound like that guy from that other podcast. Channing Crowder. Oh, no. Him. Yeah. Russell Wilson. You asked us. He's Russell a Wilson. Okay, well, um, he's, he's a, a good guy. guy. We see him I as think a good he, guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Jesus Christ. You guys, I mean, you guys are so misled. He's not a lame. Bamboozled. Let us pray. <laughs> He's a white guy though. He's a First of all, I don't let me precursor. I don't know that man's heart. So let me step away. If his heart is good and he take care of people, he's a good man. But what I'm saying is is when we talk about premier men, elite men, men who win like it's not just enough to be compassionate and empathetic and understanding and sweet. It's when you step in a room, do men you respect like your cool energy. Man. You talking about cool men. No, because there are cool niggas who ain't good niggas. Right. I'm talking about well, Russell Wilson seem like Russell Wilson seemed like a good good yeah, guy but that's yeah. but so, yo, what cool. is it with no, it's not cool it's not a cool th- it's a, like if, when you step in a room do men respect you and there's certain things that you don't do as a man to other men I don't know their business so I can't speak on it I'm not speaking on his personal business but mm-hmm. from what it would appear from the limited information I have guy. look from the limited information I have some of the things and activities that happen as a as a person who has children with a man like I don't give a fuck I don't know your business but you go talk to that man first if you really a man and I'm really about my girl, I'm going to come see you about them. I'm going to come see you about them kids. We not doing the photo shoot, all that other shit, and then you I, find out later, that's ye shit. I'm okay. going to come to you if it's a man I don't man. like this word. The the perspective. Perspective. I understand that perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. Okay, I'm, not so, saying like, like, I'm not saying he's not a good man. Who's a good man? I'm not saying he's not a good man, but he ain't that good. Who's a good man? Damn, yeah. We don't know. I don't know. You know who I would say is like that nigga? You know, someone like... um. Well, I don't know. I actually don't know if he's that nigga. Name, name a nigga who's that nigga. Like, all around is a good person. J. Cole's a good nigga. Okay. That's a solid okay. man. Okay. I don't know much okay, about him. Okay, he cool, so yeah. Solid, J. Cole's Shout a solid Shout out to Melissa, nigga. his wife. Yeah, yeah so if, see, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. if, if, if if Cole strikes you back in the day. Or Kendrick. Kendrick a good nigga. Kendrick. Kendrick hit you, you had some, you know, you did right. your shit. Okay. You feel me? Like, I would, I, yeah, like that. Maybe okay. someone like that. Maybe there's mm-hmm. someone in politics. I can't. I can't. You're like, okay, nobody. you top tier. You top tier. Yeah, you get. You make good decisions with your vagina. You have mm-hmm. good pussy management. Okay. You have good pussy good management. <laughs> so then over time, you see that, mm-hmm. and then you open up more to her, and then like, you give yeah, her more. Like, oh, you got good. You pussy think you management. have good dick management? One hundred percent. I'm that nigga. <laughs> What because does that mean? There's no girls that you would be like, mm, I mean, I'm sure it. like striking shit, but that's you different. You ever lie about fucking somebody that you did fuck? Like not like not fucking them. No, like, yeah. Like, you I did claim the body, did, but you ain't claiming it. One. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like not claim the body. You, so you did like. I'll claim. I've not claimed the body before. I've not claimed. The Why? Because I felt like she got it up out of me, and she should. I felt like she 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 came up on dick that wasn't supposed to be. And you was also a different wow. person. Was sometimes, it sometimes you a different person. I like. just didn't say anything. I didn't lie blatantly, but I didn't say nothing. I just like the homies be talking about her and shit, and I'd be like, he's be quiet. Quiet. This bitch. He's like, <laughs> but was it good though? Nigga, I'm always excellent. What the they be saying would, about her? You know, it's funny. The hump, they they wanted to smash. Like she was okay. a girl that all the homies wanted to smash. So why why are you ashamed? Because I didn't like her like spirit, nigga. Like she was weak. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't have no. Like so I did it. The pussy it. was what? It wasn't the pussy. The pussy was mid. The, the personality. Was okay. okay. It was the, the entire soul. package. The came soul. Was like, it was the full package that I'm she like, was oh, just she like weak. overrated. She was yeah. overrated. But everybody wanna smash. So overrated. Uh, my jacket is good enough. I'm fine. Like I'm okay. now I'm like I'm very proud of my, my resume. And I'm good. I'm straight. <laughs> I don't need another. You know. Oh, nigga, you did that. Like Well, weird. Malcolm, like they're ending us, but I want before you get out of here, I want to talk about everything that you have coming down the pipeline. Mm. Not that pipeline. <laughs> yeah. You stupid as shit. Yeah. That's wild, bro. <laughs> This is this is a this is a very toxic podcast. <laughs> y'all gonna y'all, y'all gonna have me in trouble, bro. Yeah, no, no, you, you don't have a girl. Have a I woman. know, but it's like this is somebody who want to be. I feel oh. like you've been capping, yeah, and they pro- and they want to be the, even more now. Never cap. He mm-hmm. got get in trouble by one of the homies. Mm-hmm. Man, no, nah, not the homies. The homies can't regulate. It's, oh, that girl you know that girl homie. homie, the girl homie, the girl homie. Oh, the girl homies mm-hmm. for sure. They gonna be on me. There's, there, and of course, there's like a woman who like is you know she up there. She she can get it. She act right. She keep the hierarchy. The hierarchy. She almost there. She. If she keep going, she do right. She y'all y'all cooked out here. If she do right. Oh, oh shit. shit! If she do 
you're right. Nice. I'm, 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 out, I'm out the game. I'm sitting it down. Like, we'll figure That's out That's what I'm talking about, period. You know, That's is, what we've been waiting for. I'm going to still be fucking, but like, it'll right? be, it'll what be under. What the fuck? Wait. She'll, she'll know, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. Okay. So she'll be there with you. Yeah, that's my nigga. She'll be there with you. Yeah, for sure. Threesomes and shit. Unless she gives me, you know, hall pass, then I'm going to, you know. Oh my God. Look, it's up to her. It depends on, like, when she's earned that equity, she can tell me what to do with my Earns the equity. Okay. Well, anyway, it's back to what you have the coming pipeline. down. Yes. <laughs> back to the pipeline. <laughs> the other pipeline. The other pipeline. The other pipeline. The other pipeline. <laughs> so let us know so we can at least. Okay. You know. uh, the show's out. Y'all need to keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Finale, in, finale in like two weeks, I believe, but okay. we out every We're Sunday. We're on it. Dope. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what am I doing? I just wrote a movie for Nike about Shaquille and Shaquille Griffin. Hopefully that comes through. I did, did the Lego movie, just wrote the Lego. Sports I saw movie that. For LeBron. Congrats. That goes sports movie for LeBron. Hopefully they do that. Um, uh, music, you know, more music to come. More EP. I got an EP out right now called Red Flags. Y'all, mm-hmm. y'all can stream that now. Yeah, we heard um, a lot of those. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> it's about you, Angie. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but congratulations and, on that. Yeah, thank you. And then yeah, like the homie got an album coming out, Slumlord Trail, BSG. Anything, anybody from the jungles, anybody from Ball and Village, they albums out, they music out. We doing deals and shit. And Brent's albums out. I wrote on that. Joey's mm-hmm. albums out. I worked on that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, keep doing those and yeah, just keep making movies and shit. I got a movie coming down the line. We'll see. Okay. That's and shout out to Tristan Wiles too. Yeah. Of course. That's my dog. My yeah. Tristan Mac Wiles. That's my dog. Good oh. father. Good man. Good human. All right. We all going to get there, right? One day. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Malcolm Mays, thank you so thank much. Y'all. I do appreciate you for coming through because I know you got a super packed schedule. I know oh, you were yeah. filming earlier today. For sure. So that means you made it. And so you. made it through to the next season. So we're <laughs> so happy to hear that. And honestly, like, you so dope. So thank you so much for you, coming by. Yeah, I appreciate you appreciate blessing us. Yeah. All right, Triple, Triple M. Triple M. M. All right, Triple see you. You all saw he wore the great sweatpants. He saw he wore the great sweatpants. Thing they had a night to say. Uh-huh, sure. They, they, everything else was sold out. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs>